guys, what's up? So I pretty much just filmed this video like not too like two seconds ago and realized that my microphone was not on. Here we go again. Yeah, this is my January favorites. Hope you guys like the quality because I kind of stole my bestie's camera. Well, not really stole because she kind of left here while she went on vacation. I'm using her Canon 70D and I'm kind of digging it. I don't know if you guys can tell the quality difference. I don't know. Anyways, let's just get straight to my January favorite. What I'm wearing on my lips right now is a combination between this ColourPop uh, Ultra Matte Lip Cream or lipstick. I don't know, lippy stick in the color Tool. Love, love, love this thing. Um, it dries matte, as the name says. So if you don't like that drying kind of sensation, Sensation, even though it's not really drying so anyways and then on the bottom of that I'm wearing the Ariana Grande MAC lipstick is it too early to say that I love this lipstick like seriously I love this lipstick it's super vampy super like creamy and it does not it's not drying on the lips um, and makes your teeth look super white like seriously this has like some blue tone in there I don't know it's like so nice. It leaves it makes your lip like uh, teeth look white. So yeah, love this lipstick. Um, yeah, it's just the Ariana Grande matte lipstick, even though it doesn't feel matte. So love the combo of this two right now. So another product I have been loving is this uh, Tarte uh, clay paint liner. Um, I got this so long ago for my bestie. Um, I when I first got it, I used it. Um, I loved it, and then I just set it to the side for some reason, and I stopped using it. But then I went back to uh, my Wet n Wild um, liner that I always use, my signature liner, and it ended up giving me like an infection. I don't know. It like they, I think they changed up the formula. My eyes were all red. They were all peeling. It was not pretty picture. I didn't know it was my eyeliner until I stopped using it. I was like, I gotta find out what's making this, like what's happening to my eyes. Like what makeup product is making this to like making me have an, a reaction to it so I found out it was my eyeliner stopped using it and I started using the Tarte uh, clay liner love it it's a lot like it's a lot more work to get your eyeliner on fleek because you have to use a brush dip it and whatnot but it's well worth it because my eyeliner is on fleek all day every day so I love this eyeliner and I will continue to repurchase this eyeliner because this is like my favorite eyeliner at the moment and probably will be forever and until I try like some other eyeliner so yeah anyways last pretty much all day and well pretty much yeah pretty much pretty rich yeah it lasts all day because I just came back from work and it does not smudge does not budge so get yourself this eyeliner if you're looking for an eyeliner that's really creamy and really smooth to work with. Another thing I've been loving is skincare related. Um, I've been loving this uh, Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to clear pores. So it's a really big old tube. It was not uh, cheap. So I got this from Sephora, I believe. Um, and yeah, I've been loving it. I use this on pimples that I want to dry up. I use this all over my face whenever I want to get a little really big pampering session going on. And yeah, I just use this all over the face. Leaves my skin feeling smooth, feeling clean, feeling so good. So yeah, I love this. Love it. Another favorite I've been loving is a uh, perfume. I have been loving this perfume. It is the Vera Wang Princess. Love how it smells. I always get compliments at work and my coworkers are like, girl, you smell good. What are you wearing? And it's the Vera Wang Princess. I got this at Ross and I need to find another one because this ain't cheap anywhere else. So um, yeah, I got this as a, well, not this one, but I had gotten um, the same perfume for my bestie on my birthday so long ago and I forgot how it smelled and I got it again and I am obsessed I love this This is like my signature scent right now and I don't know what this is but okay you take off like the crown tiara part section there's like a ring in there I don't know if it's like a ring ring but if it's like a ring to me like I can put it on my ring finger and if it's like a ring so hey get a ring and a perfume all in one so yeah anyways I love the scent of it it's like very I don't know it's like florally, florally, floral, floral scented perfume and I love the bottle to it. So yeah, you should go smell it and you're gonna love it. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just gonna get straight to my music favorites. So one of my favorite songs right now at the current moment um, is Selena Gomez's um, Can't Keep My Hands To Myself. So I love that song so much and my bestie uh, got me her CD. So I got her CD. So my bestie got me her CD and I am going to blast this in my car. Um, I had the Megan Trainer. Megan Trainer? Do I have the Megan Trainer one? No, I don't. No, I do. 
I believe I have the Reagan Trainer one in my car. No, I have Taylor Swift's um, album in my car. I'm gonna switch it up for a little Selena Gomez in there. So, can't wait to go to her concert if you guys didn't follow me on Twitter or on Snapchat or somewhere. But I won tickets to go see her in concert here in Dallas, so can't wait for that. It's not, a, not, it's not um, until like June or July, I remember, but it's in the summer and I can't wait to go with my bestie to go see Selena Gomez live. Mm -hmm. So yeah, anyways. Next songs I've been loving are some Spanish uh, songs. I haven't mentioned any like Spanish songs recently because I don't know, I haven't done them. Oh, I'm on my laptop right now. <laughs> um, so I haven't done a favorites video, duh Gabby. But these are some of the songs that I've been loving that are Spanish, uh, you know, spoken in Spanish. Uh, so yeah, one of them is by Jay Baldwin. Um, it's called Ginza. I didn't know what it was called until I like searched it on Google. I was like, what is that song called where it's like, Se necesita reggaeton, dale. Mm-hmm. And mi dale. So I searched it, I was like, what is that song called? And it's called Ginza. Ginza, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but sounds like this if you haven't heard it before I'm gonna play it on my laptop, so Another song I've been loving is by Joy Montana and it's called Piki um, So if you haven't heard it before it sounds like this and it's like, it. this is totally me. I'm so picky, like, with guys. So it's a really catchy song, and I love it, and yeah. So another song I've been loving, I'm just gonna pretty much go through my Shazam, my Shazam, no, my Spotify playlist. I have this on my favorites. And I've been loving um, some of what you call it, um, Melanie Martinez. Ever since she played at the BeautyCon, uh, last year's BeautyCon, um, oh, I have some news for you guys for this year's BeautyCon. So anyways, um, I loved her during that uh, BeautyCon color concert thing, so I, I just got back into her music and it's really like unique kind of music. So I really love her song called Dollhouse. So if you haven't seen Pretty Little Liars, I think it was on Pretty Little Liars um, episode. So it's called Dollhouse by Melanie Martinez. If you haven't heard it before, this is what it sounds like. Kind of like slow, but you know, you get into the groove. Yeah, um, you should really go look at Dollhouse and Carousel. I love those. And Cry Baby. Um, so I don't know if it's too early to say I love the song in January, but I really, really love the song. And yeah, it's called We Don't Talk Anymore by Charlie Puth and Selena Gomez. If you haven't, uh, uh, I'm so excited to tell you guys about the song. If you haven't heard it before, you should go listen to it on Spotify. Love, 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 love this song. I have it on repeat and it's like my obsession right now. It sounds like this. Before. I don't know where you've been, but you should go listen to that song and Charlie Poots album like new album He just brought out I think it's his only album. I don't know, but his album. He just brought out So good. I love all the songs on his album and yeah So that's pretty much all I've been loving um, Yeah, that's pretty much all the songs I've been loving um, and yeah, I'm just gonna wrap this up because my battery thing is flashing so um, if you guys are going to BeautyCon um, in Dallas this March, I believe it's March 19, um, hopefully, and cross your fingers, I will be there. BeautyCon is so, like, so nice, so, so nice, and contacted me and invited me to BeautyCon, so, and invited my bestie to BeautyCon, so that's freaking awesome. So, hopefully I'll see you guys there. Um, let me know if you guys are coming, and yeah, so we can take pictures, hang out, you know, do all that, because I want to meet some of you guys. Some of you guys messaged me last time when I was in BeautyCon, you're like, I saw you there, but I didn't want to go 
us say hi. I mean, don't be scared. I am the shyest person ever and I will be nice. So I don't bite. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna wrap this video up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget the subscribe button. And leave me a lovely comment down below with some of your favorites. And if you guys are coming to BeautyCon or any other that any of any of that jazz. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys are having a fantabulous day. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat. Um, so yeah, and all that social media stuff will be down below and I'll pop up here somewhere. I don't know. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys and I love you guys so much and um, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, guys, you go, I want you guys, if you live in Dallas area, leave me some suggestions of what I should do for my birthday. Like I have absolutely no clue what I should do for my birthday. I'm turning 25 on the 14th of February. So leave me some comments and suggestions down below what I should do in the Dallas forward area. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh